In the previous videos we learned a lot about the different types of the vectors and now here we're going to talk about the displacement vector and to learn the displacement vector I hope you have already uh, learned the position vector right you should know what is position vector then it's easier to understand the displacement vector in a plane okay so <clears throat> let me suppose uh, uh, this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis let's say this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis and my y-axis is representing let's say the displacement all right displacement and similarly my x-axis is representing let's say time okay so now at certain time an object let's say one object is moving and at certain time let's say uh, at time uh, t equals to let's say let's say t equals to t1 all right at time t equals to t1 an object is at position a okay objects position it is so I can give the position vector of this by connecting with the origin all right so the position right now of that object is OA all right is given by vector OA this is the position of that object and after a certain uh, time let's say the object uh, moved at point let's say B all right the object reached to the B uh, after a certain time and uh, let's say that time the time was let's say t2 okay at t1 the object had started and at the t1 the object was at a point and at time t2 the object is as b point all right so the position of b point i can give uh, by simply again connecting the lines all right so so as we know this is our initial point or starting point from where uh, the object has started the motion and the position of this uh, is represented by the vector oa all right this is a uh, initial position right vector and similarly this is the final position so or you can say terminal position so this ob is final position vector final position vector all right and here this ab you know this ab particular this ab is representing this ab is representing the total displacement made by that object in certain course of time or simply you can say the total distance traveled by the object in particular direction from a to b all right this is the displacement vector we know already what is displacement and distance uh, in the previous video of introduction of the scalars and vectors there i i, I discussed very nicely distance is just a, just a scalar quantity just need the magnitude but the displacement is the total distance covered in a particular direction we need to give the dis uh, direction also so here ab is the uh, displacement vector uh, that has been displaced from point a to point b right this is the direction in which this this uh, this, this distance has been covered and can be given by simply you know uh, the final position vector minus minus initial position vector all right vector so final position vector is ob and initial position vector is oa so therefore the displacement vector is given by ab equals to ob minus oa all right and in the graph if you want to analyze let's say uh, the coordinate of the point a is x1 y1 and the coordinate of the point is let's say x2 y2 then this complete length is x1 and this length is y1 similarly from here to here this is x2 and from here to here this is y2 all right this is x2 and y2 now just take a look on the net x component and the next y component i mean net x coordinate and net, net y coordinate of this uh, this position uh, i mean this ab vector right this uh, displacement vector so net displacement in the x-axis is this much all right which is actually from here to here we have x2 and from here to here we have x1 so this displacement is actually x2 minus x1 so this is x2 minus x1 in the direction of x-axis similarly from here to here we have y2 and here to here it is y1 as as it is here so this particular displacement is going to be y2 minus y1 all right so here uh, a b can be given by o b all right vector o b minus o a that's one method and in the concept of the uh, coordinate if you go then simply you know you can write the x component plus y component x component is simply x2 minus x1 it is in the direction of x axis so i'm giving uh, i uh, unit vector that is representing the unit vector of x axis and plus uh, y 
component that is y2 minus y1 so this is y2 minus y1 and it is in the in the in the in the uh, direction of y axis so i need to give j and if i was talking about here 3d then i would put here uh, the uh, z2 minus z1 right but here i'm dealing with the uh, i'm dealing with the uh, 2d all right two dimensional just x and y it is plain all right so this is how we have to give the displacement vector let's suppose an example let's say the coordinate of this point is uh, 2 and 4 and the coordinate of this is let's say uh, let's say 4 and 6 all right let's say 4 and 6 now if you want to find out the displacement vector then we have two methods one is by understanding the final position and the initial position vector and another is just by applying the formula so uh, let's do it by this method first all right so <clears throat> uh, displacement vector is a final position vector minus initial position vector this is our final position vector which is actually 4i plus 6j and initial vector that is 2i plus 4j you know whenever you have the coordinate this 2 is actually this x displacement x axis displacement and this 4 is actually y axis displacement so it is in the y axis so that's why that is being re uh, that is uh, being added with j coordinate because that represents the uh, unit vector of y coordinate that is giving the direction actually all right similarly uh, 2i i means 2 displacement we have made 2 unit displacement we have made towards the x axis that's why so we have to convert this coordinates into the put uh, into the vectors form as i j and if there was three then there might have been one more coordinate and we may have been adding here k so simply r let's write first the position vector of uh, final final position vector minus initial position vector so final position vector is 4i plus 6j all right it's 4i plus 6j now minus uh, initial position vector all right so initial position is this uh, a the oa that is 2i plus 4j all right that is 2i plus 4j let me put it in the bracket so when i'll open the bracket it's 4i plus 6j minus 2i minus 4j so if you see here the common things 4i and 2j so it is 4 minus 2 all right 4 minus 2i and plus 6 minus 4j i just write the common things together right i i i deal together and j j i deal together so this 4 minus 2 that is 2 i plus 6 minus 4 that is again 2 j all right so the this vector is given by 2 i 2 j all right this is this is the vector of the displacement and if you see from this this point of view a b directly i have already told you that is x2 minus x1 right so what is our x2 x2 is our 4 and x1 is our 2 so 4 minus 2 see 4 minus 2 and y2 minus y1 that is 6 minus 4 that is 6 minus 4 so that is the direct way the direct formula you can say and this is the uh, uh, little analytical method all right that's it so anyhow uh, until you're not learning the addition of the vectors and triangles law of addition parallelograms law of additions th those law until we are not learning we'll be doing the displacement vector in this way right final position vector minus initial position vector